Welcome to Balloons University Episode 1, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are talking eco, and I'm going to be showing you guys how the best way to eco in Battles 2 when you have a farm strategy and when you have an eco strategy. Make sure to comment down below some other stuff you want me to cover in future episodes of Balloons University, but without further ado, let's hop right into it. Also, if you enjoy me helping you guys out getting better at the game, hit this creator support tab inside of your shop tab inside of Battles 2, and put in code Ryan Mahalik. I'd appreciate that a lot. It's free, but now onto the video. Alright guys, now for the eco guide, we're going to be doing one match with the farm and one match with an eco strategy. The first match is going to be the farm strategy, which is Druid sub farm here. So, let's start it off. Now, how do you want to play with this strategy? Well, with farm strategies, you want to go with grouped reds round one. Now, this is actually kind of against like the normal. Most of the time, you'll be going spaced balloons with farm strategy, but round one, group reds are pretty much always superior if you can afford it since they give you eco more than twice the speed of spaced blues and are only a little bit less efficient. Now, what do I mean as efficiency and what do I mean as speed of sends, guys? Basically, efficiency is if you take the cost of the balloon, which is like 15 for blues and 20 for reds, and then divide it by the um amount of income you get that's how you get the efficiency of the balloon but also they give you they give you eco at different speeds so that's the two ways an eco balloon is good an eco balloon can be good if it gives you eco really fast and it can give you be good if it gives you eco really efficiency um really good efficiency but then round two with farm strategies guys you want to go to the space greens here yep we're gonna get my um heart of vengeance up as well so i can start getting some druid leaks in looks like opponents starting with their dart and their freaking um what's it called Gwendolyn, so that's interesting. Spaced yellows is what you want to do with farm on round three. Now, what's the difference between spaced green and spaced yellows, guys? Well, spaced yellows, spaced yellows give you eco about 50% faster. Sorry, I have a spreadsheet on my left monitor, so I'm like referring to that as I play. Spaced yellows give you eco 50% faster, but they're the exact same efficiency. So as I was saying before, efficiency matters and speed matters. So if stuff gives you eco at a faster rate, but it's the same efficiency, you always want to take the thing that gives you eco faster, right? So that's the same thing with pinks. Pinks give, give you eco at the same exact efficiency as the yellows and greens, but they give you eco faster. So I'm going to send space pinks instead. So that's what you want to do in round four with farm strategy. Send space pinks in round four with the farm strategy. And then round five, we'll be switching our send once again to spaced whites. Same exact principle, guys. All of these balloons, spaced green, spaced yellows, spaced pinks, and spaced whites, give you a cost basis per eco of $20. Pretty much you just divide the cost by the amount of eco you get. But each tier that goes up gives the eco faster, so you just want to send the faster tier. My opponent here looks like they're going on um, an eco strategy, so they're sending space grouped greens, which is common. That's kind of the difference between eco and farm most of the time. Eco will be sending group balloons, while farm will be sending space balloons. Now here's where the first decision can be made with farm strategy. Round six, is it better to send spaced whites or spaced blacks? Now here's the difference, guys. Spaced blacks give you eco about maybe 25%, 20% faster, but they are also about 3% less efficient. So honestly, it's up to you which one you want to send. Since I'm really close to affording an important farm upgrade, I'm going to send spaced whites until I afford this important farm upgrade, and then I'm going to switch to spaced blacks afterwards. That's always that's something you can do as well. Um, his enemy's grouped yellows here. So I'm actually need to save up for this this druid upgrade as well. When you're, need, when you're trying to save up for something and you're really close to it, um, it's kind of better to send the more efficient option. But then after like you afford the thing you're saving up for, then you can go to like the faster eco option. That's also another thing you can do. So now I'm gonna send space blacks, and we will continue sending space blacks on round eight. Let's go for valuable bananas here. Perfect. Oh, I'm I'm stupid. I'm stupid, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Round eight. I was I was checking my spreadsheet. Round eight, you actually want to send space purples over space blacks because space purples give you eco faster than space blacks and more efficiently. So that's actually what you want to do on round eight and round nine. Your spaced purples with a farm strategy. My bad. I was I was not sure because they nerfed space purples recently, but space purples are just a hundred percent better than space blacks. Four round eight, four round nine, and even four round ten, you get the space purples. So all three of those rounds, since space purples, they're a pretty solid balloon. They got dart sub here, all right. Um, if they send me a rush this round, I'm going to have to sell my farm to get up a reactor, which is fine. Round 11, send spaced leads. Let's get up my reactor here. And then round 12, I'm going to send spaced rainbows. Spaced rainbows did recently get nerfed, but they're still the best eco balloon this round. If you can't afford to send spaced rainbows in this round, guys, it's okay. Send group blues instead. So round 12, you can send group blues or spaced rainbows. Most of the time, though, I do recommend sending spaced rainbows. Okay, we should be good against that rush. We're chilling, we're chilling. Only a little bit of leaks. We're good at the end of the day. All right. 
And then after round 12, guys, you want to be sending grouped black balloons. Now, there's multiple balloons you can send after round 12. You can send group blacks, you can send group whites, you can send group pinks, you can send group yellows. What is the difference between all of these eco balloons you want to be sending? Well, grouped yellow, grouped yellows, group whites, and group blacks are all the same cost basis per eco, the same efficiency. Um, but group blacks give you eco the fastest. So that's why I want to send group blacks out of those three. Now, group pinks are a little bit less efficient than group blacks, but they give you eco faster. So I recommend sending group blacks until you have like 1300 eco with farm and then you can switch over to group pinks once you have like 1300 eco with farm you can switch over to group pinks and you can kind of even mix them a little bit like if you start to run low on money while sending group pinks switch over to the group blacks for a little bit and then um save up a little bit of money and then switch over to group pinks you can kind of like do a little bit of a mixture here until you have money just to send constant pinks it's kind of like the idea there so keep throwing on these brambles it's important keep throwing down those brambles here keep this on strong here we're vibing we're vibing I'm curious as to what their last tower is. They have dart sub, which is a decent combination, but their last tower is still up for grabs. We do not know what it is. But yeah, we'll be sending group pinks for the majority of these rounds. And then with a farm strategy, most of the time, I'll be going to about 2k eco. So you'll send group pinks until you hit, hit about 1800. And then you're going to switch off back to group blacks until you hit about 2k. That's how we want to do it here. So switch to blacks until we hit 2k. And then we'll stop ecoing entirely for the match. We will stop ecoing entirely for the match and just focus on our farms after that. Um, I'll be showing you guys how to eco with an eco strategy after this match. So don't worry, eco players. I know you're out there. You'll be getting your own tutorial as well. All right. Round 18. We'll see if they send me a rush. Let's clear this obstacle as well, because why not? See if I can get a couple leaks in for this bad boy. Even just three leaks. I'm Even just nine leaks, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Just a couple lives to get the Superstorm faster, and we're chilling, guys. Because Superstorm speed is important. Okay, they got Village. Dart Village sub. That doesn't honestly sound very good. I feel like... Because, like, the thing about Dart is late game, it's all about, like, the Plasma Monkey Fan Club, which has a base damage of only one. So adding a Homeland Defense, sure, it's doubling the attack speed, but you get a lot better bang for your buck with other towers, like the Cripple Moab or the Super Brittle. Which make the damage from like 1 to 5 or 1 to 6. You know what I mean? So it's like... I feel like Dart needs a damage uh, a damage debuff with it, with it to be good. Which they do not have in their strategy. So we'll see how this goes for them. We'll see how this goes for them. I don't think they're defending round 30 F bad. But they have sub though. So they can first strike. But yeah. I don't I don't really think they'll, they'll, they'll have good chances here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Did we get another leak there? We did. Another leak for my Superstorm. We'll take it. We'll throw it on the tree as well. Keep on farming. We're full vibe in here. I'll probably get a round 22 Monkey Wall Street at this point, which is really good. So we'll definitely take that. Do I send them a ZMG? No, I don't. Because they have sub. They have sub. So I don't send them a ZMG. The ZMG is not smart here. But yeah, we'll get my Monkey Wall Street at this round here. So let's get that up right now. Perfect. For round 26 rushes, I will go for a... Um, what's it called? If he rushes me in round 26, I'm going to go for a super storm. So we have to prepare for that. But at the moment, we can probably just keep farming and be fine. Because he is not pressuring me. Central market. Beautiful. Alright. We're chilling, we're chilling. They're getting all their dart monkeys down. Fair enough. We're good. They have a first strike up. So what is their plan for defense for DTs? I think they're going to be going for a preemptive. And then maybe a crossbow master for fortified. I don't know. I'm probably not going to send them DTs because we just win late game with our strategy for sure. I don't think they're defending round 30 at all. But I'm just curious as to how they were planning on defending DTs. If they send me DTs, I can tank like some of them with my trees and I can get up a super storm. Will be my plan. Against DTs here. Alright, they got a preemptive up. Hold on. Let's send them let's send them one. See what they do. We'll send them one of these. Okay, they use first strike. We'll send them one more then. Alright, nicely done, nicely done. They use Firestorm and um Firestorm and what's it called? Super Monkey Fan Club. Because the Super Monkey Fan Club 
can hit stuff with the firestorm. All right, if this is a I'll have to be ready. I have two sets of trees to defend ETs though, which is really nice. I have two sets of trees here. Because I can reset my trees, obviously. We'll pre be prepared to summon Monkey Wall Street. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. That's not how you want to defend ceramics. I I would have been able to defend it if I just got up my ballistics and got up like another tornado druid, but um, I panicked and accidentally sold my ballistics. So <laughs> that was not how, that's not how you want to defend ceramics. Um, you can defend them with like a ballist, just ballistics, but I messed up. I messed up. It's all right though. I also could have just boosted. I could have just boosted, bro. Why did I not just boost? Either way, we still have God farms, so it's not really much of a concern. We will send them a, what's it called? A fortified BAD next round. Okay, fit another one right there. Please. I can't. That's unfortunate. All right. Fortified BAD. I don't think they're defending, to be honest. They might be able to defend one, but we're going to send multiple, right? So, after they defend the first one... They're going to have another one coming for them, and then another one, and then another one, and that's not going to be very fun for them. Like, I don't know what the point of village in their strategy. They're not, like, like, not using village right now, you know? So it's like, what's the reason for bringing it? Yeah, the insides of the BADs are going to be the hardest part for them to defend as well. The insides are rough. They boost. They're actually defending quite well. I'm not going to lie. They're defending better than I thought they would. They still definitely don't defend all of these. But they are defending better than I thought they would. Yep, they're dead. GG's. Okay, I'll catch you in the next match of the video. So, let's hop right into the next one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our next match of the video in the eco tutorial for an eco strategy is here on Map Castle Ruins with strategy Heli Alkin Ninja. So let's hop right into it. First off, round one, you want to send group reds once again. Um, always want to send group reds for the most part, even if you have farm or eco is the thing. If you're on a little bit low money, you can't send group reds the entire income boost. Send a, send a couple group space blues, that's okay. Um, but for the majority of the part, you want to be sending some grouped reds here. Looks like my opponent is going bomb here as well, so that's interesting. And then, um, yeah. You will see the differences in my eco, on how I eco um early game mostly with with eco versus farms, but later like past round 13 you'll be sending the same eco balloons. Round three, I mean round two, you can send some space greens if you need to save up for your hero, but for the most part you still want to be sending grouped reds just because group reds give you eco faster than space greens. But um, if you like need to save up for like a hero or like more defense because like the balloons are overrunning you, it's fine to send space greens this round. It really just depends on the game scenario. But I don't really need to save up for stuff right now. I'll be able to get my pat down nonetheless. So we're going to get him down right here with sitting group reds. And we're chilling. We're chilling. Probably puts guy in last. And now round three is when your first balloon sin actually changes. You want to always be sitting group blues now um, on round three. Again, if you're struggling into the balloons and you need to save up for stuff, send some space deals. But for the most part, you want to be sending these grouped blue balloons. As they do give you eco, how much faster than group reds? About 50% faster than group reds. So... That is kind of like the idea there. It is quite important. And we'll be sending these group blues until round five, which is when we will see the next switch of eco balloons. Okay, they're sending me some space pink, so I'm going to get quad darts here. I should be chilling with the quadies. With the qualities. All right, we're good, we're good. I think they brought biker, which I'm curious as to why they haven't placed their hero yet. Maybe they just haven't been able to afford it. And that's why they're sending space balloons. Yeah, they got their biker up now. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, the next eco change in an eco strategy is on round five, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to be switching to grouped green balloons. Grouped greens give you eco how much faster? They give you eco more than two times the rate of group blues, actually. It's like 2.2x the rate, so it's actually a lot faster. It's a lot, it's less efficient as well, which is a given, but 2.2 times the rate is actually pretty solid there. Um, now, they are starting to override my defense here. So what happens in this scenario, guys, is you actually want to just send a couple spaced whites and afford a more defense so then you can chill 
and then you can go group back to the grouped greens afterwards. If you start to get overrun, just send a couple spaced whites and you're chilling. And then round six, you actually just want to start saving up. So round six, we'll go to space blacks. This will allow me to get some decent eco and save up for grouped yellows. And the reason why you want to save up for grouped yellows is the exact same efficiency as grouped greens, but they give you eco faster, so they're better. Plus, grouped yellows are really good because they often apply a lot of pressure on your opponent. They'll force upgrades on your opponent, force some leaks, that type of stuff. So grouped yellows are a pretty solid eco balloon to um, kind of commit to a little bit, you know? Kind of commit to a little bit. So we'll send a lot of these. They're sending me yells as well, so I'll need to be careful here. We'll go for an alchemist to help me out a little bit. And I can also use pad ability here. If you get kind of low on money inside of your income boost, by the way, just mix in a couple group space blacks. You're chilling. Um, you don't want to send constant yells like this and then just wait. You always want to be sending balloons. So if you get low on money, just send a couple space blacks at the end of your income cycle. And that's the better way to do it, guys. Now, round eight, you want to be sending space purples. So we go, we'll be switching to that. You can also mix in a little bit of grouped yells as well if you feel like it. Um, if you think you'll still be able to forward your round 11 defense, it really just depends on your strategy. You can send a little bit of grouped yells. That, that's one thing about this tutorial is that it honestly depends on your strategy because some strategies have more expensive round 11 defense and some strategies have cheaper round 11 defense. So based on your strategy, you can income harder or your income less, right? Now my strategy actually has a really cheap round 11 defense, so I can in send income pretty dang hard here. Since all I need round 11 is a Razor Rotors and an Elk Buff, right? But if you have like Dartling or something, you need a whole Hydra Rocket Pods, you're not going to be able to eco as hard. So if you can't eco as hard, I'd recommend sending Spaced Whites this round. But if you can eco harder, Space Zebras is a pretty good option. So there's um a little bit of a divergence there based on your strategy and also based on how much the rounds have been anti-stalled. So if the rounds have been really short, definitely rec Spaced Whites and you might not even need to eco this round. You might just need to stop going entirely to forward your defense, which is fine. We'll get my Berserker right here, though. We're chilling. We'll get Perishing Potions on this. Round 12, round 11, you want to send those Space Leads. And then round 12, we'll be sending, um... Round 12, we'll be sending Space Rainbows. We'll also be sending them a Camel Balloon, because they don't have Camel Detection right now. Wait. Are they just dead? Okay, we forced them to sell a bomb and boost. That's cool. All right, we'll send Space Rainbows round 12. Now, normally, if I was facing a farm strategy, guys, I would be sending Group Blues this round and saving up for my Stronger Stimulant Alchemist. But since I'm facing an Eco strategy, they don't have money to rush me, right? So I can actually Eco a little bit harder there and Greed a little bit harder and don't need my Stronger Stim straight up. So that's a little bit of a difference there. Let's use Pad Ability against this. We're chilling. Now I'll probably get my Stronger Stim up, though. So we'll save up for that bad boy. One more income boost so I can get my stronger stim up. Perfect. And now we'll continue ecoing with group blacks just as I did with the farm strategy. Group black balloons are going to be the move here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm curious as to what their last tower is, by the way. Because we've only seen bomb and village. So really, the last tower is still up for grabs here. So we don't know what it is. We'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see on that front, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, group black balloon eco and vibe. You know what I mean? And we will keep on vibe in here. The vibes are indeed good. Now with um, eco strategy, you can switch over to pink balloons as fast because you're not having farm supplement some of your income. So I'll, you'll see I'll switch over to pink balloon eco once I hit about 1700. But with farm, you can do it when you have like 1300 because you having farms give you a bunch of money as well on top of that. But yeah, now I can start switching over to pink balloons. And we'll be vibing. Switch over to those pink balloon eco. We're chilling, we're chilling. Maybe I send them a Moab, or maybe I'll just wait to Fortified Moab. Fortified Moab, Fortified Moab should be a pretty good rush. Oh, they have Heli, actually. Okay, we'll send a normal Moab then. Because either way, I'm forcing a Moab shove. And a normal Moab is obviously cheaper than a Fortified, so we'll send them a normal Moab. Normal and Fortified will both force a Moab shove, so. Oh, they go for a Downdraft. Are they going to go pop the lair? Maybe, they, maybe they're fine here, actually. Uh, they're dead. Okay. Well, you've probably you pretty much figured out all the stuff with the eco strategy. Basically, group balloons instead of space balloons, and then um, space zebras round nine and ten is a pretty good option if you can afford it. And then after that, space blacks until you have about seventeen hundred eco. Then I mean, group blacks to about seventeen hundred eco. Then grouped pinks. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Let me know if this tutorial helped you guys. I would appreciate that a lot. And let me know in the comment section what you want a tutorial on next for episode 2 of, um, what am I calling this? 
Bloons University, where I'm out. Peace, lads. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed.